Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a South Central Wisconsin field where a John Deere 6030 tractor is working with a 20 foot wide brilliant cultimulcher firming up the seedbed for spring planting. In this video we'll talk about this tractor's specifications and history, but first let's head out to the field so you can see and hear this machinery at work. Let's take a look at the specifications of the 6030. It was manufactured from 1972 through 1977 at John Deere's Waterloo, Iowa tractor factory. It is powered by a turbocharged intercooled 8.7 liter 531 cubic inch diesel engine rated at 175 PTO horsepower. An optional, naturally aspirated 531 cubic inch John Deere engine was made available in 1973, but due to poor sales, that engine was eliminated starting in 1974 as an option. Out of the over 4,000 6030 tractors produced, only 45 were built with the naturally aspirated diesel engine. The tractor features a John Deere synchro range, partially synchronized transmission with eight forward and two reverse speeds. It has a 73 gallon diesel fuel tank. The factory weight of the tractor is 13,323 pounds and it can be field weighted up to 18,180 pounds. The original list price of this tractor in the 1970s was $28,745. The 6030 is one of the most iconic tractors offered by John Deere in its 100 plus years of tractor production that dates back to 1918. When it comes to popular tractors that are well thought of among John Deere fans, the 6030 ranks right up there with other classic models like the John Deere 4020, the John Deere 4440, the John Deere 4960, and the John Deere 7810. These tractors and the 6030 get a lot of buzz and attention whenever they're spotted out in the field or at a tractor show. The 6030 owes a lot of its modern day popularity to its big iron look from the 1970s. It has that classic design of a 4020 just beefed up. And it also has that great sound from that 531 cubic inch turbocharged intercooled diesel engine. Interestingly though, 
The 6030 was coming online just as other models like the 4020 up to the 4620 were being phased out. The new SoundGuard series of tractors from John Deere came online in 1973, with the top-end SoundGuard model being the 150 PTO horsepower 4630. The 4630 offered modern styling, comfort, and convenience with a modern-day cab. The 6030 was still a big, square, tough-looking tractor, and it topped the John Deere line of two-wheel drive row crop models all the way through 1977. It really didn't quite fit into that Soundguard era, but it kept on churning out the diesel power, and again, there were just over 4,000 6030s sold during that time period. The 6030 was the last tractor to carry on the new generation design, first introduced by John Deere in 1960 with the release of the 4010 and 3010 tractors. By 1978, a new generation of Soundguard tractors was coming online to replace the 30 series. That was the 40 series, known as the Iron Horses, and the top model in the Iron Horse series was the new 180 PTO horsepower model 4840. It offered the big iron power of the 6030 with the modern convenience of the Soundguard design. I hope that you've enjoyed spending time out in the South Central Wisconsin field, seeing and hearing this classic 6030 at work, as well as learning about its history in the John Deere tractor lineup. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below, as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.